If you look at the water hyacinth, kind of have these petals, you know, you have a body of still water, like a big pond. In Asia, they're quite common. And they have big, broad leaves that kind of float out and flatten out on the water. These huge flowers that blossom on top of them. You walk by a big open pond, and you might see one of these water hyacinths. What they do is they hang out on the top of the water, and then it grows out tendrils that kind of float out through the water, and they start another water hyacinth. About two weeks later, you'll see a few more. And about three weeks later, you might see a patch the size of like a mattress, maybe a queen size mattress. But guess what? Just about a week later, at the end of that 30 day period, you will get a whole pond covered with these water hyacinths. It, is, it can be a huge pond. 30 days later, it's covered because of the efforts of that one water hyacinth. Not using seeds, but just reaching out, creating another, that one reaching out, creating another, that one reaching out, creating another, and kind of creating something that amazingly covers the whole pond. For a moment, we have the choice to become overwhelmed, or we have the choice to be like a water hyacinth and say, one step at a time, or one individual at a time, and the amount of individuals that you've touched has now blossomed and increased into hundreds, thousands, and eventually millions.